In geometry, Thaler's theorem states that if A, B and C are points on a circle where the line AC is a diameter of the circle, then the angle ABC is a right angle. Thaler's theorem is a special case of the inscribed angle theorem, and is mentioned and proved as part of the 31st proposition, in the third book of Euclid's Elements. It is generally attributed to Thales of Miletus, who is said to have offered an ox as a sacrifice of thanksgiving for the discovery, but sometimes it is attributed to Pythagoras. History there is nothing extant of the writing of Thales, work done in ancient Greece tended to be attributed to men of wisdom without respect to all the individuals involved in any particular intellectual constructions, this is true of Pythagoras especially. Attribution did tend to occur at a later time. Reference to Thales was made by Proclus and by Diogenes Laertius documenting Pamphila's statement that Thales Indian and Babylonian mathematicians knew this for special cases before Thales proved it. It is believed that Thales learned that an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle during his travels to Babylon. The theorem is named after Thales because he was said by ancient sources to have been the first to prove the theorem, using his own results that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, and that the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Oche del mezzo sertio far si puo triangle si chan retin on avasa, or if in semicircle can be made triangle so that it have no right angle. Dante's Paradiso, Canto 13, lines 101 to 102, English translation by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Dante's Paradiso refers to Thaler's theorem in the course of a speech. Proof. First proof the following facts are used. The sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees and the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Since OA equals OB equals OC, increment TOBA and increment OBC are isosceles triangles, and by the equality of the base angles of an isosceles triangle, OBC equals OCB and BAU equals ABO. Let alpha equals BAU and beta equals OBC. The three internal angles of the increment ABC triangle are alpha and beta. Since the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we have QED. Second proof the theorem may also be proven using trigonometry. Let and then B is a point on the unit circle. We will show that increment ABC forms a right angle by proving that AB and BC are perpendicular, that is, the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. We calculate the slopes for AB and BC, and then we show that their product equals minus 1. Note the use of the Pythagorean trigonometric identity. Third proof let be a triangle in a circle where is a diameter in that circle, then construct a new triangle by mirroring triangle over the line and then mirroring it again over the line perpendicular to which goes through the center of the circle. Since lines are parallel, likewise for and the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Since lines are both diameters of the circle and therefore are equal length, the parallelogram must be a rectangle. All angles in a rectangle are right angles. Converse. For any triangle whatsoever, there is exactly one circle containing all three vertices of the triangle. This circle is called the circumcircle of the triangle. One way of formulating Thaler's theorem is... If the center of a triangle's circumcircle lies on the triangle then the triangle is right, and the center of its circumcircle lies on its hypotenuse. The converse of Thaler's theorem is then, the center of the circumcircle of a right triangle lies on its hypotenuse. This converse is also true. Proof of the converse using geometry This proof consists of completing the right triangle to form a rectangle and noticing that the center of that rectangle is equidistant from the vertices and so is the center of the circumscribing circle of the original triangle. It utilizes two facts. 
Adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary and the diagonals of a rectangle are equal and cross each other in their median point. Let there be a right angle ABC, RA line parallel to BC passing by A and SA line parallel to AB passing by C. Let D be the point of intersection of lines R and S. The quadrilateral ABCD forms a parallelogram by construction. Since in a parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary and ABC is a right angle then angles bad BCD and ADC are also right. Consequently ABCD is a rectangle. Let O be the point of intersection of the diagonals AC and BD. Then the point O, by the second fact above, is equidistant from A, B, and C. And so O is center of the circumscribing circle, and the hypotenuse of the triangle is a diameter of the circle. Alternate proof of the converse using geometry given a right triangle ABC with hypotenuse AC. Construct a circle C whose diameter is AC. Let O be the center of C. Let D be the intersection of C and the ray ob. By Thales' theorem, ADC is right, but then D must equal B. Proof of the converse using linear algebra This proof utilizes two facts. Two lines form a right angle if and only if the dot products of their directional vectors is zero, and the square of the length of a vector is given by the dot products of the vector with itself. Let there be a right angle ABC and circle M with AC as a diameter. Let M's center lie on the origin, for easier calculation. Then we know A equals minus C, because the circle centered at the origin has AC as diameter, and equals zero, because ABC is a right angle. It follows zero equals 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 A, two minus B, two, hence equals B. This means that A and B are equidistant from the origin, i.e., from the center of M. Since A lies on M, so does B, and the circle M is therefore the triangle's circumcircle. The above calculations in fact establish that both directions of Thaler's theorem are valid in any inner product space. Generalizations and related results Thaler's theorem is a special case of the following theorem. Given three points A, B and C on a circle with center O, the angle AOC is twice as large as the angle ABC. C inscribed angle, the proof of this theorem is quite similar to the proof of Thaler's theorem given above. A related result to Thaler's theorem is the following. If AC is a diameter of a circle, then, if B is inside the circle, then ABC greater than 90 degrees. If B is on the circle, then ABC equals 90 degrees. If B is outside the circle, then ABC less than 90 degrees. Application Thaler's theorem can be used to construct the tangent to a given circle that passes through a given point. We can refer to the image beside. This is one of the cases where Thaler's theorem is used very frequently. Thaler's theorem can also be used to find the center of a circle using an object with a right angle, such as a set square or sheet of paper larger than the circle. The angle is placed anywhere on its circumference. The intersections of the two sides with the circumference define a diameter. Repeating this with a different set of intersections yields another diameter. The center is at the intersection of the diameters.